Good morning. I just want to give a quick garden update. On my first swell berm here, I've got uh, watermelon vines and some cantaloupe vines covering this, providing good ground cover. And uh, it's kind of like a living mulch. The watermelon have done excellent. Cantaloupe, not so much. They did have a rough start when the deer nearly ate it completely up, but you can see here the wood chips have brought in lots of insects that like to eat that decaying matter and they have really taken to eating the uh, the rind of the cantaloupe uh, you can see that's covered with roly-polies there that'll end up going to the chickens but uh, every one of the cantaloupe that i've grown so far have been like that you can see this one's getting ripe here on the top it's got the yellow coloring and this is really pretty small for a cantaloupe this is just like slightly bigger than a softball the grasshoppers have been really bad you can see one right there and you can see what they do to my tomatoes i'll catch that guy for the chickens This whole trellis string system didn't work as well as I had imagined. Um, I mean, I did have tomatoes growing up the string. What I failed to foresee was this requires almost like a, a daily kind of maintenance where you have to come out here and twine the new growth daily. And I'm terrible about daily maintenance. So I've got tomatoes sprawled out all over the place. You're supposed to pick the little um, suckers in the crotches and I stopped doing that. Just uh, not something I think I'm gonna do in the future. I was gonna pick this watermelon today and this morning I walked out here and it busted. Uh, thankfully, I think I got to it before the ants did. Watermelon have gone crazy. The one that split, that's the largest one I have. I just wanted to see how big it would get before it split. Um, I've got some just growing everywhere. Several of them have gotten these black spots on the ends, and I'm not sure why. You see I've got a pretty good size one growing on that cattle panel. It's supporting itself. Just kind of a lot of tension here. I've got some growing in the trench there that I just saw the other day. Got one growing in here with the pine tree. Just kind of all over the place. Got a couple more good sized ones there. What I'll do is, as I'm watering, I'll just come out here and rotate these just a little bit so that one side's not touching the ground too long. I really enjoyed growing sunflowers this year, especially on this swell. Uh, I'm standing in the trench right now, so it makes the sunflowers seem even taller since they're on this berm. So. Uh, there's about an extra two feet or so of height added to them from where I'm standing. There's my 12 foot sunflower that uh, the wind knocked the head off of it. So far it hasn't put on a new sunflower head so I guess that's not going to happen. As you walk down here you can just see these massive sunflowers towering over me. Really cool to see that. Some of the heads have gotten Super heavy. Some are really massive. Pretty big head there. Here's the sunflower that uh, both heads got knocked off. It had two. I'm gonna cut that down with a saw just at the ground there instead of pull up the roots and disturb everything else that's in that area. It's not really providing shade anymore because the grasshoppers have eaten up all the leaves. Another sunflower. And then the last sunflower on this row here. Um, all the leaves have been eaten up here, so I'll probably go ahead and cut that before the seeds start falling down on the ground. You see the mockingbird pestering my cat again. Uh, that's in the new chicken highway area. She's going to get him one of these days.
One of the chickens hanging out with her. Buttercup. The morning glories have gone crazy. You can see the vines just reaching out, trying to grab anything they can. The other side looks the same way. Getting lots of uh, pretty flowers, although not as many as I thought I would. I don't know if I'll plant these on here next year. I may focus more on grapes or something like that. Let me see just how dense it is. I do have some loofahs growing in here as well. Uh, I didn't get a whole lot of loofahs. Let's see the purple variety of morning glory. Here's one loofah. Here's another loofah on the back side. Down here, hidden amongst the leaves, I almost didn't see this enormous uh, Armenian cucumber the other day. Once I noticed it though, I was like, dang, how'd I miss that? All right, here it is, I went ahead and picked it. It's about, not quite 26 inches. That's pretty big. I've been cutting these up and feeding it to my tortoise. It's not the greatest flavor in my opinion. Um, I may not grow this next year. It looks cool though. This archway cattle panel trellis, the morning glories have just completely covered that. Again, this side. Uh, they didn't do as well. They'll uh, keep growing this direction until they get to the center point. And they don't, they don't grow downward like you would think maybe they would. They continue to try to grow upward. So they're all just kind of stretching to the sky there. Sometimes they'll come in here and, uh, you know, grab one like this and try to get it to you know, wrap around and point downwards, but it's still just going to start going up like that. On my second swell berm here, um, I feel really foolish about this. Um, this is actually a buffalo gourd that a viewer pointed out who is also from Texas. And what really had me stumped on this was I didn't plant buffalo gourd seeds here. And I th thought, you know, it had to be something else from one of the seeds that I scattered. And um, sure enough, it is a buffalo gourd. They finally started putting on some gourds, as you can see there. So I guess what I did was several years ago when I collected some buffalo gourds from a local park, I remember tossing the gourds just kind of in random spots around my property. And I must have thrown a buffalo gourd in this vicinity somewhere. and. When I built this swell berm, it must have uh, made just the right planting conditions for it. So now I've got a whole bunch of buffalo gourd growing on my second swell here. I don't know if I'll try to remove these. I know they have really massive roots that can get to be like uh, a foot wide and a hundred pounds. Um, I may try to get rid of this. It is a perennial, uh, but then again, my Watermelon did really good as a ground cover for other plants. So I may try to just train these vines and keep them on the mound so that they're working for me. Here are the three sketchy hugel mounds that I made. This is the first one. The only thing that really grew on this mound was a zucchini and I've been really diligent about picking off squash bugs because they got pretty much all of my other squash plants. That's my second hugel mound. You can see it's got a little crooked neck yellow squash there. And then here's my third one. I haven't been as good about picking off squash bugs from these other ones. You would think that the all that carbon from the brush and the branches and stuff would tie up a lot of nitrogen but I guess the squash and um, zucchini didn't know about that. The dwarf ever bearing mulberries are doing really well. My honey jar jujube is doing pretty good. It's had three growth spurts this year so this is where uh, the bare root planting was and then it put on about this much growth and then it put on about this much growth and now it's putting on a third spurt here so it's already taller than me 
its first year so it's a pretty awesome plant and the grasshoppers aren't eating it so that's a good thing the pomegranates are doing really well this year this is a little tiny pomegranate that i bought from tractor supply and it's put on quite a bit of growth there it was probably about that tall and now it's a good two feet high something like that the gomi berry has been completely decimated by the grasshoppers I was hoping this would be super hardy against those guys. I don't even know if that's gonna make it or not. So that's my garden update. I went ahead and just summed up all three of my areas into one since there's not a whole lot going on with the uh, peak of summer here. Thanks for watching.